Wisconsin voters will head to the polls next Tuesday to decide who will face Governor Walker in the recall election. Now, before the primary, we have invited all four Democratic candidates for governor to sit down with us to discuss the issues. And this morning, we are talking with State Senator Kathleen Vinehout. Thanks for coming on the show this morning. Hey, my pleasure. All right, so if you get elected governor, what is your priority for day one? Well, for day one, I would change those signs when you come into the state. Instead of reading open for business, they should read open for everyone. And that's symbolic, but it's important symbolism. Because I think the most important thing the state has to do is heal the divisions among us. And we need everybody's best effort to create those kind of great places that we want to live in and work in. A lot of people are suffering, and we're really all in this together. And even the mainstream businesses don't feel like they're really being heard in state government today. I mean, there is a great, great divide in the state. Um, there's a lot of deep gashes within people's hearts and yes. souls and stuff. And a lot of candidates can say, I'm going to fix this and fix that, which a lot of people can say is just lip service. What What is actually going to be done? Because it's, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of time to repair what has happened. Absolutely. And we not only need a new governor, we need a new way to govern. We need a governor who will heal the divisions among us, who will lower the rhetoric, who will focus on details. I've spent the last six years years of my life in the state senate partly as co-chair of the audit committee digging deep into the programs and I find many many problems in state government and these problems have gotten worse under our current governor we need somebody who is going to pay attention to the details it's not all about the title it's about doing the job and people want the problems fixed and speaking of jobs um, Wisconsin leads the nation in job losses at the moment. How can you reverse that trend? Well, I've put together a new economic game plan and it has a number of different pieces to it, but the most important part is that we have to recognize that the public sector and the private sector are partners. If you don't mind an analogy from an old farmer, I think of government as the fertility in the soil. And I think of the private sector as bringing the plants. And my Republican colleagues have been busy draining the nutrients out of the soil and then wondering why the crop isn't what it used to be. When I think about what's happened to our tech colleges, all around the state, there's waiting lists to get in. And yet many businesses are saying, we could hire if we had trained workers. And that's one of the number one priorities, is to make sure those waiting lists go away. Okay, let's go back a year ago, collective bargaining. Will you restore collective bargaining? Yes, it's a very important part of state government. You know, I went to Illinois along mm -hmm. with the other Wisconsin 14 a to stop. A lot of people said that you weren't doing your job. <laughs> well, I tell you, I had 27,000 people contact me in three weeks. In an average year, year, I have 5,000 people. 75% of those people said, Kathleen, stay in Illinois. We need time to figure out what's happening. And that's exactly what we gave people time to do. All right. Okay, well, good luck next week, and thank you very much for coming by. My pleasure. Right. Thank you. We'll be right back.